So today we're going to upgrade the Eurocom D900F Panther Workstation to a NVIDIA GTX 680M. This is currently the fastest GeForce card on the market for the mobile market. It has 4 gigs of VRAM and sets the new bar for performance. So this is the card that we'll be installing today. Before you begin your installation, it's really important to make sure you have proper ESD grounding so you don't fry any of the components. To start, you want to make sure your battery is unscrewed, the three screws. And remove it from your system. Next you'll want to remove the bottom access cover. That's this plate right here. That's held in position by several screws. To keep this video faster, I've removed all of them except for one. Pull that away. You reveal the inside of the system. The important thing to note right here is that there is a gap, a separate distinct gap between the CPU heatsink assembly and the video card heatsink assembly. This video card heatsink is made for 75 watt VGA cards. The one you will need to properly install 680M is slightly different. It's more or less the same size here, but you'll see that there's extra fin on the VGA heatsink that meshes up there and you can see how it lay together. So they're removing part here and making up for it here to give the card the extra cooling that it needs. So first start by removing your CPU heatsink. You'll need to remove the fan and disconnect it. I've already gone ahead and removed the screws. There are three of them. There are four screws around the CPU socket and three more on the chipset, as well as a fan connector, temperature sensor. So that pulls clear. For the VGA assembly, same thing. Disconnect your fan, remove the three screws that hold it in, set it aside. And then your VGA assembly is held down by four small silver screws in the retaining clip. Once those have been removed, the heat sink will lift out and you'll have your current card. In this case, this is a 460M. There's two screws, one on each side of the card, that hold it down in the slot. Once you remove those, can remove the card. Place your old card in an anti-static bag to keep it safe. Take your new card and install it in the socket and secure it down with the two screws. Next, you'll want to make sure you apply thermal paste to the video card. Then take the modified VGA heatsink, again with the extra addition there, in comparison to the standard one that you just removed. Install that on the card and secure it down with the four silver screws on the retaining clips. After that, 
reconnect your fan, reconnect the three screws to the heatsink to finish the VGA assembly. Take care that the fan is underneath the plastic pull handle. Finally, take your modified CPU heatsink assembly. Lower in your position. Make sure you apply a thermal piece to your CPU. We already have in this case. Make sure you connect the temperature sensor diode. It's very small and has two pins. It can be a little difficult to connect. Once that's been connected, fasten down the screws in the order mentioned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After those are secure, reconnect the other fan. This is a three pin connector. And secure that down. There's three screws that are required. There'd be one, two, and three. So now, after doing the installation, you can see the difference where the new modified heatsink comes into play. Put your top cover back on, put the battery in, and start it up. You're all good to go. Make sure your BIOS is up to date and you won't have any problems. Enjoy your GeForce 680M.